Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs. B, your Catholic art teacher. Today I am with my rosary group students and they're going to say hello. Hello. And they're getting ready to paint a watercolor picture of a waterfall. So let's get started boys and girls. So we have the students now beginning their watercolor painting by covering their entire paper with a blue, a light blue mixture. So we're going around, we we'll just watch what everybody's doing. I got them to lightly sketch um, where the waterfall is going and there they have it. They are painting um, using the, the lightest blue that they have to the entire painting because it's going to be in layers so this is um, the way they're going. So boys and girls as you can see the students are they've added in the sky, they've added in the the, 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 the greenery, the shrubs and so on and that's the pool for the emerald pool that's the waterfall and I'm just going around you can see this lovely texture that Ria has done in her painting well done Ria and for Brittany she is doing her sky she added a little bit too much water so she has to start over again so she's doing this and Gabriel this is his. You have to start adding the greenery now, Gabriel. You have to start adding the mountains that is in between the waterfall. And uh, Shimaria, very nice. All right. And Kelsey, very good, Kelsey. Very good. And don't forget you have to paint this and this in green, okay? And then, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with the progress of the work. And there they are, very busy painting as we're doing um, a collab with me and the students. And we're painting a water, a color painting of the waterfall inspired by Ria. So, so there it is, boys and girls. This is the waterfall from the Emerald Pool. And we're going to go around now to see the results of my collab with my students. And I see that they're coming along very well. Really good, Mikaya. You just need to get your white all the way down to here. And nice, um, you two, Ria, the same thing. Let the whites go all the way down. And then don't forget this has to be stipple effect to show the foam. All right? But it's looking, it's looking good. Whitney, yours is looking very nice, very nice. I'm seeing some depth in your painting. And, um, okay, so we're having um, Gabriel, he's using his finger. And that's good too, you can use your finger if you want to try to blend the colors well. And then we have Shimaria here. Very good. And so we see the waterfall and the stippling effect. This is looking really good. Wow, Kelsey. This is very good. Well done, Kelsey. So she's got her nice waterfall. I love to see the flow. You can actually see flowing coming in here. The only thing is you did not add your dimensions in here. So you have to add your dark. Not everywhere, but Stippling, just like how you stippled here for the foam, you stipple for the um, shrubs and stuff like that. So start working on that. I love the ripples on your water, Shimaria, very good, but don't overdo it now. Let's move on. Um, perhaps you need to add some more white because the light, the light is coming down through here and you forgot the green has to go up here. So add a little bit more green as well because it looking like odd to just have dark green and light. You need to add a little bit more dark up here. Oops. All right. All right. So, 
add some more depth in here. You just have it bland. You need to add it because remember, this is the woods. This is the mountain with all the shrubs. All right? Very good. Well done. And so you need, when you finish, you need to add some darks here, some dark blue, so that we can see that this is the pool. And as it gets down lower, it gets darker. Well done. Oh, wow. That's really good. Very, very nice. Uh, but your ripples, now, you need to have your ripples going from side to side. This is just to show your, the foam as the water fall, falls down, touches the pool, and it makes a kind of a foam. So add some more lines showing all the way, white lines going all the way down to here, all right, to cover your darks as well, all right? And you too, all the way down here, you need to add your your the, the, the lines here of the waterfall to cover the blue, the that dark blue at the bottom here. Okay? And it's looking good. It's looking really good. Alright. So I'm hoping that the next time we look at your work will be completed. And I can see that your painting it's almost complete, Kelsey. You just have to add the darks. Don't add lights. To, just add some darks. And, uh, yeah, try to, um, to create depth in your painting. No, no, no. When you do it, when you go in lines up and line down, no. You have to stipple because we're doing shrubs. We're doing leaves. And because it's so much detail, you, you're just going to be stippling it like that so do that good job all right and you maybe need to add more dark to that still so you may need to add blue in your darks all right to get your dark your green darker it would be good to add blue to your green yeah to get a darker green rather than using black black tends to um flatten your color so try to use a dark blue to your green to create that effect all right it's five to four boys and girls so let's come to a conclusion so there we are boys and girls we've come to the end so we're going to watch the students work to see what they've done all right so we'll start on this side first, Kelsey. Wow, very good, Kelsey. Are you proud of your work? Very nice. Very good work. Shimaria, let's have a look. All right. How do you feel, Shimaria? Good. You worked hard. Gabriel, let's see yours. Wow, Gabriel, what a lovely waterfall you have. How do you feel? You feel good? Good job. Brittany, I see Brittany's putting in some finishing touches, so I'll come back to her. Oh, wow, Ria, look at that fantasy painting. She's doing a fantasy painting of satin and uh, coming there coming very close to the waterfall. The Emerald Pool. That's beautiful. Well done. How well, do you feel, Ria? Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Yes. All right. Now, your Micaiah, can you move the sharpener? Let's have a look at that properly. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So, are you happy with it, Micaiah? Yes. All right. Okay. So, Brittany, let's have a look at yours. Da da. Very nice. Very good work, Brittany. Are you pleased with yours? Yes, yes. All right. So I'm saying goodbye to everyone. So see you, class. Uh, say goodbye to everybody at home who's watching. Bye. Bye. I'm just going to add a little more darks to the areas where they need um, the darks to be really um, apparent, you know, and 
So I'm just going to do that and um, add some dark hair. on the other side so that we can see the contrast that we really need to get and um, I want to add a little bit of the right and um, around this area where the foam is uh, uh, showing I want to Add some darks. Um, so I was talking to one of my students, Cassidy. And she's going up to grade four during rosary, and I was. We were talking about next week and what we're going to do. So she suggested, why don't we do uh painting in the because we're right next to the botanic gardens let's make use of it so i thought that's a splendid idea so next week we're going to paint uh the flowers any flower or bush in the botanic gardens so it's going to be a plein air experience that means in the open air we're going to paint so, boys and girls, I can't wait to see your work um, next week for us to do another collab. You know, it was really fun. Um, so next week, for next week's collab, we will definitely be um, working on a plein air experience with you guys. So... Yeah, I'm sure that you're going to be excited just as much as I am excited to do this. So, yeah, I'm adding some yellow to the tops where the sun is just touching. You could say kissing the top of the, the trees right there. And you can have some of the yellows down here too. You know, sometimes it, it penetrates the wood and then it ends up the trees and comes down all the way down here so yeah we can do that too all right and um i just want to add i wish i could have this really deeper i have some um deep blues you know this i have some but i just wish that i could just have that give it that depth that I'm really looking for in the painting. Okay, so I really want to go darker still down here, but we're just going to keep it like that, you know, right where the, and then we're going to add, um, darker darks down here which is going to be really good like the silhouettes that we've been doing in the second term and in the third term too so let's just add some green to that to get the color that I really want I'm just going to add the green here and stuff and then you have a bit of the reflection in the pool which is good like that okay so I'm quite happy with this um, I just want to add a lighter blue if I can a bigger paintbrush and I just want to just go over here with a lighter blue. I wish I had a bigger paintbrush that would take me twice as long. 
twice as long to do this um, what I want to do for the sky just want to add a lighter blue like that for the sky And the uh, finishing touch is I want the white to just to go over the waterfall. So, um, so I'm going to add some white to this um, side of my palette and uh, add some water. Like that, and then I'm just going to go over the waterfall. It's quite transparent, the white, so that's why we need layers and layers. <laughs> <clears throat> and then we have the water going down freely, like that. I'm just going to have it going down, doesn't matter, sporadically across that waterfall for the emerald pool. Um, and then add my little foam, little droplets of foam coming out there, like that. And I managed to use up everything. I wanted which is okay that's what I wanted okay and I think that this is really good I'm really happy with it we get the reflective lights around the pool the emerald pool and uh, yeah I think that I quite like how this has come um, let me just use some of this green here. You know, just add a little bit of green here and there. I need a bigger paintbrush, but just do that. Just add in the green shrubs, the mountain to the mountain top, you know, to create um, the texture that I want to depict the leaves, the forest, and so on. So it's a lot of dab, dab, dabbing, boys and girls, dab, dab, dabbing. I think I should even add some white to the top, you know to show the reflective light on top of the mountain but in any case I think that's all right I'm good with that so we can add some of that blue I was talking about you can just add it sporadically around here but more concentrated at the bottom of the closer to the pool you know I don't want the contrast to be so drastic. I want it to be blended in. So I'm just well, I'm just going over it a little bit just to get that effect that I really want to have the waterfall really stand out. You know, I really would like that to happen. And for you to do that, you really need Yeah, you need to Add the darks to the darks and the lights leave it. So. Yeah.
So boys and girls, I think this is it. I'm quite happy with uh, the results. It's now looking like it has more depth than uh, how I started. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Um, I may want to get very light blue here, just for the skyline. I hope I don't go too dark. I hope I don't go too dark with that. And let's just add some water. I just want to show the contrast. Yeah, I think I'm liking it. good we can add a natural like sunlight coming through in the sky a little bit just a little bit not too much and I think um, that's it so boys and girls um, I can't wait to be with you all so that we can experience plein air art and uh, I'll see you in the next video, boys and girls. And those of you in my Rosary Club, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.